Warning, this experiment uses hot concentrated nitric acid and carcinogenic hexavalent chromium. Please be careful if you attempt to repeat it. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be making potassium trichromate. Uh, first of all, you might notice that everything might look different and I might sound different, and that's because I recently did some major upgrades to my audio-visual setup. So I've got a tripod, a nicer camera, and a mic. Anyway, the procedure isn't terribly complex. In the test tube, I have potassium dichromate, which is this orange powder. To it, I'm going to be adding a few milliliters of concentrated nitric acid. Do this very carefully. Alright, once you've got the crystal slightly submerged in concentrated acid, Heat it very gently with a torch. Let's go in for a close-up for this. Okay, now I'm gently heating this with a torch to get all of the dichromate to dissolve. So, you probably know that when dichromate is in basic conditions, it forms the chromate ion, and vice versa. When the chromate ion is in acidic conditions, it forms a dichromate ion. But what you probably don't know is that under extremely acidic conditions, such as this nitric acid, dichromate will actually form trichromate. All right, continue to gently heat this until everything dissolves. Now that heating is done, we can see that we're left with this really dark, almost black liquid. Go ahead and let that cool down, and potassium trichromate will crystallize out. Okay, once you see a significant amount of crystals form, then you can collect your product. The longer you let it crystallize out, the more product you'll collect. And I've heard about people letting it sit for days. However, just in a few hours, I got most of my solution to crystallize. So that's good enough for me. Pour off the remaining liquid into some sort of aqueous reducing agent to safely reduce it. I'm using sodium thiosulfate solution. You can see the color change from red to green. Okay. Now, get the rest of these crystals out. This can be pretty hard if you have a test tube, but do your best to break them out and put them on a watch glass. Okay, here on the watch glass we can see some really dark red, beautiful crystals of potassium trichromate. Unfortunately, I lost a pretty large amount of my yield trying to get it out of the test tube. So something to keep in mind is using a wide enough test tube and having a tool to get it out. To dry, break up these chunks and then desiccate it over sodium hydroxide to neutralize any remaining acid fumes. I'm just keeping this as a sample because I think it's pretty. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to contact me.